Hey yo, what up y'all? It's me, the Wavy Gamer, back at you with another GTA 5 online video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how they get this dope modded outfit after patch 1.45 using the uh, outfit transfer glitch. Alright, so heads up for a warning, you will be deleting your second character and you will lose the outfits that you have on your main character. But let's get into it, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Alright, so if you have some outfits on your main character like I do, choose your favorite outfit and make sure you're wearing that outfit. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over to the store, grab the effortless outfit, it's a standard outfit, and I'm going to save it three times. Alright, I got those three outfits saved. The outfit that I have on, though, was another outfit that I had saved, but I deleted the outfit and I made sure I was wearing it that way. At the end of the glitch, I could come back in and save it. So you can save one outfit. So make sure when you start the glitch, you're actually wearing that outfit. So save those three standard outfits, and then put on your favorite outfit, then delete it. Alright, so... It's not saved, but I'm wearing it. That way I can save it at the end of the, at the end of this glitch. All right, so got my three standard outfits. I got the outfit that I want to keep, the one outfit that I can keep. All right, after you do that, everything is set up on your male character. You want to press start online, swap characters, go to your second character, which needs to be a female character. All right, um, if your second character is a male character, just, I don't know, you're going to have to delete your second character anyway, so... Despite anything, delete them and make a female character. All right, you're gonna need a female for this. It's a component glitch. All right, so right now I'm swapping to my female. I'm gonna select my female and go into an invite only or private session, any type of session, it doesn't matter. All right, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna spawn in on our female, go to the clothing store, and we're gonna put on the proper components to transfer back to our male to get that modded outfit. All right, so here we go. Chose my second character. Alright, I'm fast forward through a lot of the loading screens in this video because it's a long video. Alright, so fast forward to that. We're on the female character. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to put on and save for your female. Alright, here we go. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go over the fitted suit jackets and put on a, a black bolting blazer. Alright, there it is, black bolting blazer. After that, you wanna back out and go down to tactical jackets. Alright, put on the khaki tactical. Blousin, Blousin, whatever, however you say it, the khaki tactical, tactical jacket. All right, after that, you want to go to pants, go to sports pants, spotted muscle pants. Those are the pants I have on right now. Put those pants on. After that, go over the shoes, boots, worn chocolate slack boots. Those are the red and black Tron shoes. All right, so put those boots on. After that, we're going to go over to the other side of the store tie and the gloves on now all right so here we go i'm going to the ties we're going to put on the tan straight tie after that back out go to gloves put on the light woodland tactical gloves and that's the first outfit save that in slot one all right as you'll notice i have no other outfit saved on my female character so right save wave one now wave two it's almost pretty much the same outfit but you're going to change the tops and you're going to put the gloves back on because they're going to disappear when you put the tops on. All right, so here we go. For the leather jackets, orange padded leather jacket. Back out, go to gun running t-shirts. All right, I'm going to go all the way back up. I should have went the other direction, but... All right, there it is, gun running t-shirts. So you want to put on the blue digital t-shirt. Blue digital t-shirt. More than likely, your gloves will disappear when you do that, so just go back over the gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves again and save the outfit. All right, I'm gonna name this one Wave 2. After you save both of those outfits, Wave 1, Wave 2, or whatever you wanna name them, press Start Online and go to Creator. And when we get into Creator, I already have my race made. What you wanna do is you wanna create a race. All right, type of race, standard. Route type, point to point. All right, the race only has to be 0.64 miles, so it's not a long race. All right, I already have mine, so I'm gonna load the creation. All right, and I'm gonna test it. So here we go. All right, so it's a standard race, it's a standard land race. All right, route type, point to point. Real simple to make, real simple to make. Only 0.64 miles, so it's about a mile long, almost. All right, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. After you create that race, you wanna test it. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Mine is already created because I've already done the glitch. All right, just like the outfits were already made. But um, I'm just gonna test my race. Now, after you test your race, you wanna save it. 
All right, mine's already saved, like I said before. So all I gotta do is test mine. But after you test your race, save it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna test my race. All right, mad simple. Like I said, it doesn't have to be too long. You'll see my race is not that long. Bang around this corner, go straight, and my race will be over. It's that fast, real easy. All right, just pay attention to what I tell you. Uh, standard race, route type, point to point, length, 0.64 miles. So that's like four or five checkpoints. All right, so after you test your race, press A for OK, and then save your race. Me, I don't have to save mine because mine is already saved. So after you save your race, press start, go to uh, choose character, swap character. All right, I don't have to save mine, mine is already saved, so press start, online, choose character. Now this is where you delete your second character. All right, this is what's gonna actually cause the glitch to go through. All right, so here we go. Load in the choose character right now. Once I get in here, I'm gonna delete my character. It's gonna give me like a default person or whatever. After you delete your character, you wanna press B, back out and go to story mode. All right, I'm gonna show you right here. Choose your second character, delete them. All right, hit yes. It's gonna ask you to type in to delete to confirm it. That's what I'm doing right now. After that, hit yes again. Your character's gonna disappear. I'm gonna bring in a random character, some random guy or random female, whatever they may be. After that, just exit the story mode. You'll see right there on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, it tells me to press B to go back to GTA 5, that's story mode. All right, so I'm gonna back out, go to story mode. Once I'm in story mode, I'm gonna start up an invite only session. All right, sorry I did that real fast. I started up the invite only session, here we go. You see wave one, wave two. Those are the two outfits we made on the female character. Like I said, I'm gonna save my outfit now. Now I can save my outfit. That's why I made sure that was the outfit I was wearing. But I'm gonna save it underneath of those two outfits because those are the ones we need to merge. All right, so we're about to do the merge portion of the glitch. But before we do that, I'm gonna dress up the character. All right, so I'm gonna put on those jeans that you saw at the beginning of the video inside my outfit. Um, the racing jersey with the red, black, and white racing gloves. I'm gonna show you how to get exactly that outfit that you saw me with. All right, so I'm gonna put on the racing top. All right, I'm gonna put on some jeans. Doesn't matter what pair of pants you wear or what racing top you choose. It'll all transfer over. All right, I have no problem with doing this right now because like I said, I just saved that other outfit. All right, so let's get ready to merge. I'm gonna put my jeans on. I got my racing top on. Now you're gonna need a friend to uh, run Crooked Cop. Crooked Cop is a versus mission. We're gonna use that job to merge into those two outfits that we made with the female. All right, so here we go. I actually tried putting a mask on prior to doing this part of the glitch, but it didn't carry over. Doesn't matter, you can put a mask on at the end. So here we go, start up Crooked Cop. See, there's a mask, but it's not gonna carry over. We'll go once to the right, wave one. To the right again, wave two. All right, there's the racing gloves from the racing top. I got the cop belt, those are the jeans I selected, and my shoes are red and black Tron shoes. Those are the boots that we put on our female character. All right, um, if it seems like a lot, just go back, pay a little bit more attention to the video, do exactly what I do, and you'll get it down perfectly. All right, but there's the outfit right there. Dope invisible outfit, race gloves, cop belt, jeans with Tron shoes, dope. All right, so to save this outfit, what you wanna do is open up the interaction menu, style, accessories, and just put on some sunglasses or something. Some sunglasses or rebreather. All right, so put my sunglasses on, back out of the interaction menu and quit the job. I'm gonna spawn back into my invite only session. Once you spawn into your session, you just go save the outfit. It's pretty much that simple. You can dress up the outfit, customize it however you want, put a mask on it with a helmet or a hat. Um, you can put on necklaces and chains. You can't put on body armor though. All right, you can wear body armor. You'll, you'll get the effects from wearing body armor if you were in a firefight, but you actually can't see the body armor. All right, so you cannot put body armor over top of the invisible torso. But like I said, you can put a um, parachute on. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna uh, just go through my masks. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what mask I used on my outfit if you want the exact same one that I had. And you can do a, tele a telescope glitch to put a hat or a helmet on it. 
All right, so got my mask on it, dope looking outfit. I run over the ammunition and sing the outfit. Then after that, I'm gonna come out and put a parachute on it, and we're gonna close the video out, video out right there. All right, and I'm gonna save this torso. All right, saving the outfit right now. All right, there we go. Outfit saved. All right, now I'm gonna put a parachute on it, and there we go. That's it. All right, y'all. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. If you ain't new, I appreciate you. If you haven't already, hit that bell for post notifications so you don't miss out whenever I post a new video. Some more content on GTA 5. All right, y'all. But it's been fun. Till next time, it's me, the Wavy Gamer. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.